So national media has fallen in love with the Philadelphia Eagles. And a lot of the NFC East is upset about it. But you know, three little women once said, haters are going to hate. Callers are going to call. Ballers are going to ball. But that ain't got nothing to do with me and you. Let's get into it. What's going on, you guys? This is your boy Joe Castro, aka Philly Fresco, and it is Philly Philly the podcast. So today we are going not to we're not going to talk about 3LW, even though that's a great song. Shout out to them. We are going to talk about how national media is apparently thinking that the Philadelphia Eagles may be a Super Bowl contender. Are they right? We'll find out. But I I'm excited to talk about this if you can't tell. And also, if you do, do not mind if you want to know. Definitely I have a very, very, very exciting announcement at the end of this. So definitely stick to the end and check that out if you guys uh want to know why I've been kind of MIA for the past m- month and a half. Uh but let's talk about this. Be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know the vibe. I love y'all. Uh but yeah let's talk let's talk about this. So it has come out that people are there's there's national reporters saying that they think the Philadelphia Eagles are a Super Bowl contender. They talk about our draft, they talk about our offseason, they talk about the maturation of our quarterback and of our coaching staff. Um, and it sounds like they're they're on the hype train. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. I'm cool with this. I'm okay with this. There's a lot of years that I come into the year and I'm like, don't, you know, national media, don't worry about us. Just let us live. Let us, you know, kind of skate by. But at the end of the day, a lot of what is being said is very, very true. We have a very on paper, easy schedule. We have a lot of new additions that should be very useful additions, right? You look at an AJ Brown, we talk about him at length, but you also also look at the maturation of a guy like Devontae Smith, the maturation of a guy like Dallas Goddard now finally being that number one tight end. We talk as Eagles fans, we're a little bit worried about the safety position, a little bit worried about the running back position. But I think at this point, those are luxuries that we can still afford to kind of fix up, right? You can still make a good trade, get yourself a good running back in this room. You can get yourself a decent, you know, safety. We thought Jaquaski Tart might be that guy. He seems to be running with the third, the third team a lot. I'm not really sure what to make of that. Maybe he becomes your third uh, safety. But if, you know, if he's anything below that, what's really the point of keeping him on this roster? So, yeah, I mean, I just got pessimistic on a, on a whole video talking about why I'm excited about people talking about us being the Eagles. But that's really the only thing we're worried about, right? Those are the only two things that we're kind of worried about is our running back room, if they can stay healthy. Because I don't even think, and you guys let me know in the comments if I'm, I'm wrong about this. I don't think that us as Eagles fans are worried about the guys that we have in our running back room. I think we're more so worried about the guys we have in the running back room staying healthy. A lot of times when we get into these conversations, whether it be Kareem Hunt, whether it be, you know, uh, Kenyon Drake, whether it be this guy, that guy, the third, we always talk about how he might not be the greatest running back in the world, but we need somebody because we know Miles is only going to make it X amount of games this year. Fair or unfair, we have not been able to see a lot of Miles Sanders, whether it's, you know, the usage that this coaching staff gives him or it's just him not being available come game time. We're excited about Kenneth Gainwell. I think that I can say that about the fan base overall. I hope I'm not overstepping my bounds there. But I, I do think that as Eagles fans, we're excited about what Kenneth Gainwell can be, especially in his second year. We saw him taking ankles. We saw him putting his head right into somebody's chest and knocking him back four yards. We saw a lot from Kenneth Gainwell. The one thing that I think I saw that I'm most excited about is the the improvement i won't say that he's great but the improvement in the pass protection so that's something that he's gonna have to you know obviously keep on getting better at and prove to this coaching staff that he can be a three down back eagles don't play that type of game eagles don't really run that type of system i mean this is obviously a new coaching staff we kind of saw what they did last year a lot of you know three man running back groups a lot a lot of running back by committee right so and then you even add in a jalen hurts in there so and then you add right now uh, aj brown how many people are going to really have this ball so maybe we are good as as far as the running back goes and and maybe they feel comfortable with what they have eagles fans we have the right to be a little selfish right we want to see the big names we want to see the guys that we know are going to give us what we want. But I feel confident in this running back room. I would love to see an upgrade. Don't get me wrong, but I feel confident going into the season. And again, the safety room is somewhere that we want to upgrade, but I feel confident with the guys that we have. I think that Marcus Epps 
I, I, I made this joke and, and it was kind of a joke, but it was kind of serious. I made this joke with Brandon and, and a couple of our friends. And I, I feel like, you know, Marcus Epps is kind of the Alex Singleton, uh, Alex Singletary, excuse me, or Alex Singleton. Yeah, I, I said it right. He's kind of the Alex Singleton of this secondary right now. Everybody else doesn't look that good. So I feel like it makes him look even better. I do think that he's good. I do think that Marcus Epps is a good safety and a good player overall. Will he be able to be that guy that is part of a top tier defense, right? Because that, you look at a lot of top tier defenses, you might not have had a great person, great player at every single position, right? But you had good enough, you had serviceable. I think he'll be serviceable and I'm hoping that the, 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 the good that we have on this defense will outweigh the bad. So I, you know, look, do I get worried about because that's kind of what I know people are going to ask me are, are you worried that all these you know media people are saying that the Eagles are really good are you worried that you know they're going to jinx you they're going to do this well no Eagles players on the Madden cover so I'm not worried about that jinx right and as far as the media goes good, good on them you know realistically good good for you I, I i am so happy that you guys finally caught on to what philadelphia is doing you know you got michael irvin a great cowboy out there scared shaking in his boots that the eagles are building a franchise you have a bunch of cowboys fans in straight denial you know you you look at giants land i don't even hear them talk so you, you let me know what they're saying shout out to everybody you know that's a giants fan like all five of you that stuck it out uh you look at washington they're still trying to get over the name so like i i really don't worry about anybody in this nfc east like i said earlier i think the nfc itself is weak so do i think the eagles can make a little bit of run heck yeah heck yeah i, I do do i expect that is that like what's going to if if the eagles don't make it to the super bowl am i going to be sitting here saying it was a wasted season what did we do no not at all but the the fact that the eagles are even in this situation being talked about like this is incredible it is incredible. You see, I, I changed my, my tonal, my, my, voc, my voice tone for that. I wanted you guys to feel that. You know what I'm saying? I wanted you to feel it. It's different now. People can say what they want. They can say we're getting too overhyped. I think we're being realistic. This Eagles team wants to win a playoff, a playoff game. If we see that this team wins 13, 14 games and we only win one playoff game, Maybe come back and check with the doctor. Maybe I'm feeling a little bit sick at that point. But I, right now, if we win 13 games, win a playoff game, I'm going to be over the moon. I'm going to be like, whoa, what just happened? We went from having one of, not even one of, we went from having the biggest dead cap hit in history, right, of the NFL because of somebody I won't say, right, number 11, because of him, we went from having the biggest dead cap hit in history, people saying we were going to be terrible. People said last year we were going to win three games. Do you remember? Because I do. And these are the same guys that are now coming out saying that we're going to we're Super Bowl contenders. We oh, look at look at Jalen Hurts being a great guy. And oh, AJ Brown looks so cool in his hat. Like hey, you guys are late to the party, but you're still invited. I'm not mad that you guys are, are now just catching on. So hey, like I said, this Eagles team is built differently. I do believe that they are a team that can contend. I do not put my expectations there, nor do I, I think Eagles fans, if you're watching this, I don't think you should either. I think that we should be happy seeing improvement. And right now, the base level of improvement, right? The base level of improvement is going ahead, winning a game or two more and, and winning a playoff game. I think that if we walk out of this season with that as Eagles fans, we can, we can be nothing but happy. I, I mean, realistic that's really all we can ask for but hey you want to go out there and win us a super bowl howie you want you, you want to go win us a super bowl nick nick we had another quarter we had another coach that uh, uh won us a super bowl pretty darn quick you, you want to join that list big dog you want we, we got room for another statue i'm telling you that right now nick I right, we got room for another statue just imagine i mean, just imagine the statue that him and jalen hurts i mean that would probably be the most swagged out statue ever you got nick sirianni and his you know beat cowboys shirt you got jalen hurts and in a versace sunglasses i see it now i think it would be beautiful but you guys let me know what you're thinking you know I, how do you feel about this national media being all hype about us now it, i know some people get worried about it some people say oh my god keep our name out your mouth don't worry about you know i'm not will smith right now you ain't got to keep my team's name out your mouth you know I, i'm cool with it you're saying good things but i did tell you guys that i did have an announcement i do want to um now take the time to do that now 
if you guys follow the channel if you guys have followed me over time you know i like to do what i'm doing now i've gotten back to it and that's daily upload i have not been able to do that um because we have some exciting news man i am joining fanfield sports uh collectibles they are a a company owned co-owned excuse me by michael vick i don't know why i spaced right there uh but a company co-owned by michael vick i will be handling all their announcements their podcasts and such so it's it's a very exciting thing a lot more information will be coming out very soon i'm sure over the next coming weeks i'll be able to kind of give you a little bit more insight into what i'm doing but i'm very very excited very proud very happy very you know just I i'm blessed i'm blessed and i want to thank you guys for you know riding with me this far and, and as far as we're gonna go because you guys really make this this channel spin and shout out to brandon okay because i know all of you guys know who brandon is and i'm getting tired of him talking in the third person talking about shout out to philly philly the podcast for all their success bro if brandon you better not be in the comments talking about congratulations joe because you part of this so shout out to everybody man i really do appreciate y'all i can't i can't say it enough man but other than that man y'all know what it is it is fly goes fly we are out here yeah, you know we, we we really out here now, y'all. Like we really, really. All right, y'all. Peace. Thanks for tuning in.